they're trying to make their mark. You can see how aggressive Gambit have been. They've, they've already cleared out those brown holes. They've still got that fast rotation to buy the connector, but now Havu pull the pin. Axel's getting ready to fight up into them. Axel peeking forward, not getting his first shots. It's Ariel who goes down in the meanwhile. Navani to find one Axel Ooh. brought down in response. Jemmy to bring that apart, but Navani has pushed through. He's still alive and holding such a tricky angle. They might not realize where he is as Inters goes down and they've found him. Now it's all about Havu overwhelming and overcoming. But with Hobbit and Shiro having rotated onto the bomb site, there's still a small hurdle to get past. And can they do it? Shiro peeks out, Ooh. drops a bomb, beautiful shot, and buys Hobbit what? the time to bring it back. But it's still a one on two. Shiro has to do it all. Has to get the 3k as he's crept past into Ivy. Over oh. and he goes straight to the head of X7, leaving Slowy wondering how can he play this one out inside Olaf, but he's not turning around. He's not checking it. Shero's coming from behind. Shero's gonna be able to get it done, and what a way <laughs> to start. Shero, three kills for the man. Smart and sharp stuff there from Shiro. There was a kit available as well. Should it have ground down to later rounds, but the pathing there for Havu. Axel right now, he's looking to behead some peasants. And as he waits for them to peek in, gets one, gets two, gets three, and it's easy as can be. Not a single casualty so far for the CT side, and their security in money, at least, is somewhat guaranteed, although X7 is hoping to get a quick one. And Zori now left alone, a one versus five. Nothing to really gain out of it. A main right about now, that'll be forcing Havu to start pushing through it, but instead, Chooses to safeguard his position and wait for them to move, make the move. Axel peeks Finally through, sees one, sees two, and he will connect one the second. Bombs the bomb dropped too, as yeah. well, and now he can just back off and wait for them to start peeking in. X7 has, however, recovered it, and he's still waiting. Inters just flicks oh. onto the head of Ariel, and X7 is left alone. 33 HP on him, and as he fakes out no the bomb chance. plant, the peak will be coming in soon, and he's not left himself enough time, and now he might even go down afterwards. Will they be peeking him? Yes, they will. Shiro from behind. Man who safeguards it. Hobbit, nade out in front. Slowly, that's an easier frag to find. Hobbit out in the open. So now a rifle's been recovered, and he's trying to do damage, but Shiro not only gets a kill with the Molotov, but a kill with the AWP as well. And Jemmy, one's not enough. Bomb not down, so no additional cash for Havu. This It's really this slow lurk through Ivy that's hoping to bear some fruit, but Shiro's already on the angle. Oh, Shiro. Will be able to find anything for now. Ariel's taking down Axel, enters the trade. Shiro waits for the kill, but will not find it initially. X7, though, mm. has not been too fruitful in his recent attempts over on the A-bomb side. And Jeremy, I believe he might not be any different. How is he re oh. that? How is he re that in a 4v1 where they can say they're recording? That's just the magic. And the question is, how much of... Actually, hold the questions. Let's get answers. Nafani looking to give them a few kills, but X7 is indeed going to find one of his own. Ooh. Axel, meanwhile, will fall, and suddenly it's a 5-on-3, with Shiro being in a very awkward position as he tries to peek out. Who says it's awkward for Shiro? Absolutely not. Hobbit Inter still trying to fight back. Hobbit will fall slowly on the sidelines, gets flashed up completely. Good. Inters is able to blind him out and force him back, giving Shiro some time as well. A secondary flash now rolls out, waiting for them to peek with it, and Shiro is being closed in on, but Inters is trying to defend. And as Shiro comes in from Ooh. the side, it's Inters to try and re-peek back into Ariel, will not find the kill, but has given Shiro enough oh. space to feel secure. However, that security is a lie, and Havu, with an early advantage, are able to keep Shiro back to a 4v4. Axel, not molly that entirely. It doesn't spread. Will it do so in the last tick? Doesn't look like it, and that could be deadly. Axel could now look to push in, try and find information, and as X7 is oh. being found through the smoke, enters, takes him down. Shiro has now taken Hobbit's place, so they might not be expecting this at all. Shiro will get the frag. Great discipline on the cross there. Even smokes himself off in style, while Nafani will continue to make sure that Pop Dog cannot be controlled at all by Havu. It seems like it is entirely impossible, and with Ariel now down to five, there's just no chance. This is the worry coming into a map pick like this for Havu. You know, coming into the veto process, there were a, f a few m maybe predictable routes here for Harvey to take, and Gambit do their research. Seeing if they can maybe keep these players busy a little longer. Double drop from Harvey. 
to set those sights over towards a X7 trying to linger out towards that sandwich position. But Ariel finding the first. Nafani caught out of position and X7 trying to progress into the site. Zori finding another all the meanwhile. The Inters is still alone here on this bomb site. Has a player segmented off in the connector. Reinforcements is coming, but it's going to arrive a little too late. And so Ariel finally getting that blind side and kill, trying to deal with the planter, but it will go down for Havu. Zori's low. A 2-1-3, oh. and oh, just like that, Hobbit is equalized. So this is suddenly so much more feasible, and you can see that it repositioning for the retake. Ariel's crouched away. We'll be avoiding it. Shero seen him now. Ariel Ooh. will drop before he's located. And as the bomb diffuser is faked out, Ariel will need to peek out soon as well. Hobbit will get the first Shero with the second. And Gambit are so good in coordinating these retakes. Shero will have the diffuse out. And Michael, I was going to be... They're not going to anticipate him though. Inter is not cleared and so slowly goes down. That's the bomb dropped on the site and a flash to allow Inter to escape. A secondary one to allow him to re-aggress but it's dodged out. Ariel able to adapt in time. So that man advantage or equalizer rather from Gambit is lost instantly. Havu have sussed out the flank as well. So Hobbit is a crucial duel to win if they want to go for this. But Zori dealing with the flank. Now only Shiro left on the AWP, and the money is not great here for Gambit. Maybe an MP9 here and there. Maybe Nafani has to go for that. But with Nafani on 1100, he can definitely buy a utility plus an MP9. Shiro can drop over an M4 and a Thomas and still have full utility. So, folks aren't going to be all that useful. Sorry. Meanwhile, Whoa. what an angle from Jeez. Hobbit. Oh, that is a... That is a very strong one, and it's also a very annoying one to even take. You, uh, if I'm not wrong, he dr you drop down on the corner of the oil train, which is slightly lower than all yeah. the rest of it, and you're able to see just the head. Great shot from Hobbit, and Axile will fall. X7. What a peek in. Brings him down, and that is a crucial frag. It changes everything. It leaves Inters and Hobbit to try and do all the dirty work. Hobbit's gambled away incorrectly, and Inters has fallen. Hobbit, at this point, might just want to save the AWP, but with a Molotov at his feet and Zori at his face, there is no chance of that whatsoever. Who's past the Molotov, runs away from it, back to heaven. He's been so mobile on the bomb site so far, but Axel will be peeking out soon. Will not get oh. the kill, though. Ariel is ready, and as the T's are burning away, Hobbit will escort them to a quick death, while he himself will be assisted to the very man by Slowy, but Nafani's not done yet. It's the 2v3. Havu oh. losing the advantage and losing Ariel's head with it. Zori alone with the AWP that was uncontested you said but now it is unassisted unaided unabetted and he will not find the frag and now seconds. as he repositions with time ticking away he will be caught off on the ladder instant shot coming out from him and as Hobbit be forward he'll be able to take down one and two makes it look easy and Nafani will assist Ooh. temporarily but Zori left alone Zori smoked off but will be assisting him for a while longer but Again, man, this guy's just not going to be able to find anything. And where they go for an incredibly fast space execute, now Zori will just be caught off by the player on the rafters. Axel to take him away. Will he pick up the secondary AWP? Doesn't look like it. Just a Molotov. And these don't have a smoke, though. So Shiro has clear sight lines for days and on train. That is the recipe Ooh. for disaster. But he's met by disaster. Zori takes him down. Slowly jumping up reveals his position. Axel from this side comes below. Takes away. Slow. And now it's a 2v3. Hobbit and Axel. How many rounds have we seen them clutch this out so far? Can they do it again? Oh. It seems like they might be able to. Hobbit and Axel moving past the smoke to... Mask the bomb itself, and as Hobbit shallow. will move forward to try and tap it away. Axel on the sidelines. Axel will be sidelined, and Hobbit finds out where the last player is. Is he sticking it? Hobbit oh, is sticking Ariel. it. Ariel will be oh. in perfectly positioned for the quick headshot, but no good, Hobbit. Always creeping about. X7, though, might not be expecting this UMP to be in position, and he oh. will. Still behead Axile, the guillotine of X7's AK will come in. Ariel, a little bit more labored, a little bit more peppered, a little bit more spice to the spray. But he will get the kill regardless. Here on the AWP, retakes have not been as forte in the past few rounds, at least. In the past round especially, Hobbit's gone down as well. Now it's just Nafani and Shiro who are trying to move in. It's the last round of the half, they have to go for it. Shiro, no as he as well. peeks forward... 
will be sidelined. Oh, what? what? I didn't even see that for a second. We switched away. Nafani in the oh, back row as well. A beautiful shot they to come to. Quick. And as he starts peeking forward, Zori's all alone. Zori's going to be coming in. He will find the first. Can he find the second? Shiro second going defuse? for the defuse. No. It is a 10 second. He doesn't have time. Zori will go down. What the hell was that kill from Shiro? We went away from it. Even the observer thought Shiro was dead. Getting pretty far into this site without really getting offered duels here on the side of Habu or trapped towards the bomb train. But the smoke... Not allowing for other positions really to be held here from Harvey. It's a crucial duel for, to be won. Axel sussing out X7. And now this site is going to be harder to hold. It's going to be pincered in from multiple angles. Axel continuing with the P250. And you can see that losing territory here on the CT side. Slowly, crucial fight to be Ooh. won. But there's a flank coming into the words of the connector. And Hobbit may just be unseen. There's a flank all too juicy here for Hobbit. They need to get this bomb planted soon, though. 10 seconds left, and it's now slowly in the 1v3. Low is all oh, brought down. Hobbit makes that round all on his lonesome. It seems like they're just not able to get the... Yeah, the, the stylistic difference is certainly being highlighted, especially with how well Shiro has been doing thus far. Some chances Ooh. to recover here for hit for Zori on the CT side, but these Mac 10s are just oh. farming in cash. Axile at distance, finally taken out. And while Zori will find himself a secondary frag, of a player over towards the box and white holes, but X7 at long distance here at the org trying to deal with the gambit progression. Three players are going to emerge. Ooh. X7 one for one. Axile trying to make his way in towards the box site slowly. Still pretty far progressed into the site and hard to be dealt with. Shiro not prepared for the angle. Hobbit there to trade, but it's back and forth galore. But Zori makes it even doubly trouble here for gambit. 20 seconds left. Axile 30 HP and he's trying to get this bomb planted. He'll be allowed to do so. Yeah, he's counting himself I mean, all around already. He did. For a second there, it looked like he thought they were just... Holy... <laughs> they lose the orb too. And Havu are none the wiser. You know, they looked for a bit of aggression early on, but now they sit further back in towards these sites, and Zori is going to have a bit of a shooting gallery in front of him. But the miss on the shot, Gambit can get out, and they've lost Jemmy on the site, so Zori has to pick them off at a distance, finding Inters, deploying utility, but well, this bomb can get planted. Oh, no. And oh, oh no, a miss smoke over towards the connector, so that will segment off Zori's rotation, but he's honed on the angle, and Nafni's advanced position will net him nothing. Now Shiro has to try and defend. A single smoke was the only utility they had, and he has deployed it. Uh, we'll start to move forward, waiting for them to lean into either side. They're just holding, but oh. Shiro's holding their lives and snuffing them out, Ooh. looking for more, going for two. It's the third that comes back to bite him, but the equalizer has given Hobbit a chance to start peeking forward. Hobbit flicks, Hobbit's got it. It should be 15. Zori left alone to go for the ace clutch. Can't really find it. The bomb sticked away. And as he circled uh -huh. around on top of the bomb, trying to defuse, Hobbit will instead snuff out his life. Have other contributions into the round. And Hobbit once again oh. on this lurk, finding Jemmy. But Zori is there to plug the gap so that Hobbit doesn't run away with things. Oh. And Nafni, a slow descent into death, into Pop Dog. Not quite what I thought he was descending into. He's all the smoke. Oh, it's a cloud. It's a pillow. It's a pillow to smother him alive with a UMP, apparently. Ariel. Let's go some way. They've got information of the brown holes, and with the aggressive position that they have maintained. You can see how scared they are here from Havu. They've lost information over towards A, but now these sa smokes sail over. Zori has a lot of work to do, but he's fully flashed up on the site, trying to get himself away. X7 not firing off with that AWP, and Zori's been found out. They know where he's positioned, and so they cross into the site successfully. This bomb can get planted here. X7 still peering away, trying to find something on the AWP, but they've lost that site presence in Zori. A flank is ensuing, but Chiro's primed on the angle. X7 is sneaky, though, finding the equalizer. And now it's all about the all about that backstab. Ariel coming in from the side. Can he find anything? Both players nestled away from him. Both players hiding their behinds. But Inters is exposing his very soon. Will go down. And now X7. Only one angle to watch out for. Does he realize what it is? The Molotov oh. will not go through. They've given it up. Ariel will take it away. Take it on the 10 second defuse. It comes in and it will be uh -huh. around in the favor of Havu. No kit. 
It is Axel on the back lines who's left for the flank to try and find the rotators. Jemmy waiting. Nafani to peek out from the side. That smoke goes awry. It will block him off. And Inters gets the shot. Ariel might have just destroyed his teammate's chances over there. But as he peeks forward, he'll find one before being traded. A missed smoke could be the end. Axel knows where the AWP is. Zori creeps past into connector shore, but the bomb is planted. Kit nearby. Zori peeking forward. No one to find, but X7 as a shot from Shiro is missed onto a crouch player, no less. X7 has given them a lifeline once again. Axel now starts to move forward. Hobbit with the grenade ready. Needs to start chucking it out sooner rather than later. They don't quite have a smoke, so a Molotov would have been oh. better. But a second nade is blocked and suddenly it's all falling apart. The CT side have a Molotov. They can go for the defuse. Axel will, oh. however, not need to peek. X7 will go down. Axel to get the final. Hobbit will take their enemy's map pick, starting things off up one to nothing. And when we're back, it'll be time to see if this can pull it through. A slightly taller man now to the giant they have to face. Havu down the map onto Gambit's map pick as Gambit on Mirage start things off on the T side headed over over towards B. I'm T time joined by Michael Yumi Cassidy, and we're about to see whether or not Havu have what it takes to bring it back to a 1 1. Jemmy, jump spotting initially, grenade goes out. Well played Ooh. and slow his shot is as well. Jemmy with the follow up connects, and now the smoke blocks him off. Yeah, already down to a three on five here for Gambit, and they're scrambling back. They go through those B apartments, didn't quite make it out into the site. That long range, X7 and Slowey, who are trying to wait for their teammates to come over before they start to move out, will now have Axel to face off against. Axel knows there's only one player in CT. That's the deal he wants oh. to isolate, but gets it on stairs instead. Coming through, going for more. It's Nafani on the sidelines who misses shots, and that leads to Axel's death. Nafani trying to fight back, but he's just not in position to prevent, but he still gets oh. one. Looking for more. The bomb kit, diffusal kit, is on Jenny, and he's so far away if he hadn't had oh. the halo, but Shiro... We'll still get it done. How have they lost that one? Oh, Molly goes in as well. Jemmy is forced to move Moving away from stack. that one. And Axel will just jump forward. Mowing down one, looking for more. The booster player not spotted out yet. But Axel will fall now. And as he does, more are going away. Even the bomb is in the vicinity. Shiro is pushing forward with a P250, trying to get some quick headshots. We can't use a scout at this range, but... Hobbit on the flank will come through and try to save the day. Should be Hello a there. successful round and a greeting exchange. The head will roll. Hobbit will salvage a... And Hobbit on the lurk can be rather devastating. Gun round here from Havu. Hobbit alone towards top middle, but the site set towards B and they're fast paced with the Jemmy. Gonna get overrun shortly, but has assistance. Molly burning him down low, but finally losing out on Slowey. Ooh. They have dealt with another player here on this Gambit side, but not realizing still that Hobbit is on this lurk, but it doesn't matter. They're losing out on the site progression here. Axile now left alone into the apartment and with Hobbit finally contributing, he has to try and salvage the round. Three more players still Stand in his path with only 4 HP to his name. Pat on the back there for Zori to keep him afloat. They're here on the A-bomb site. Even from short, one player left behind. A boost seems to be likely, but X7 moving past. The bomb will be blunted and Shiro oh. spraying in. Slowy gets one. Hobbit follows up with double. Now back to a 3v3. Hobbit's reposition. He knows he's safe from connector, at least he was, oh. but now he's brought down from the side. It's Zori on Firebox and Shiro, who has been locked out of the bomb site, will just try to save this AK. Hobbit makes such a good showing of things, but a lot of that spray onto X7, a lot of that spray onto the players inside the smoke, just going awry. Otherwise, Gambit could have walked away with this one as well. And as they start to move back into short he has realized this he is waiting for this he is waiting for them to start coming through he moves past can't get oh. a kill Inters brings him down oh. and that he what a shot from long range from downtown he comes through and slow he's the only one on the bomb side but he might be all that's needed however on this side he's been tagged up peppered up ready to be brought down but ariel's here to back up a very hasty rotation from havu will assist them but zori 
playing the balcony corner. We'll just have Jemmy baiting backwards. Jemmy will fall, but Ariel will not oh. be expected. Hobbit doesn't clear this out at all. Hobbit over at Benz. They know exactly where he is. And now Ariel's got a chance oh. to finish off the round here. And now Ariel will be oh. able to get two lines them up as well. And Hobbit's position is known. Ariel, what a play from him and Jemmy combined. Another smoke deployed on the site, so they know he's here. He's still close to the action. 24 seconds here for Gamma to make their move. Three players still sat towards that van position. And Jemmy, to the unseen element, finding and springing in for one. Ariel as well is coming on that rotation. It's now just Nafani. A one on two, and they are coming in quick. Ariel deals with both, though. Watching for a player to come inside the jungle area, but Nafani is just nestled away to ladder room where he could find a kill if he just turns around. But as they move forward, the grenade will find so little time. reasonable damage. They're starting to move in. Hobbit's not cleared out. Ariel, Ariel will be traded though. Axel and Nafani on the bomb side. That's but the is keeping them over the finish line. Zori just needs to stay alive now, and he has done so successfully. Gambit stalled up so much by that late smoke that Ariel had thrown that it seemed like... Oh, Shero's expecting it. Shero's expecting oh. it. What a read. X7 will fall, but Ariel will exploit the opening that's just been brought around. Ariel waits for the peak forward. Hey, get the ready. We'll get oh. the frag. Enters the fall. Shero all alone. 30 seconds. There's no way he can get this done even if he has the bomb. Surely not. Especially... When Jemmy walks into his sight lines, but... Sight composition here for Havu. Still investigating other prospects, and nafani has gone as well. So a three on five left to navigate. Gambit still with that bomb over towards B. Into trying to run distraction. They find two kills simultaneously, but Jemmy wasn't cleared. Well, moving forward, has found another one. It's back to a two versus two. But... With Gambit being as low as they are, this is not entirely an advantage. There's still a deagle in the hands of Zori. He hasn't spotted out Inters. Inters oh. is getting ready for the peak, but he can't find the timing. Now as the peak forward comes through, Zori still locked oh. away into a corner. Is not going to be brought down, but instead it's from stairs. He's been assaulted, but not quite brought in. It's Jemmy who's been given enough time to, goof, to move through for the trade. And now instead of playing from... Oh, this is so big. Jemmy's come around from jungle. Jero has no not idea. He's expected Shero. He just didn't know. Havu are already up to 10. And these fast rotations have been a blessing. Nafni trying to move oh. past the smoke, finds the entry, but Zori and X7 answer right back. Hobbit not moving much further into the bomb side. Then Molotov separating the team. Ariel sussing that one out as well, keeping that man advantage here for Havu. And they need to get themselves into this site. Havu are setting themselves up for this retake already, but Inters has other plans, seeing if he can find one more player on the rotation. The trades have been massive, but the rotation this time will not come through. It's an op over and short, which will not ring out. Now the CTs are moving in. They will find the oh. kill. Ariel oh. will fall. Inters with the two quick frags. Knows where Zori's coming in from. Zori caught oh. Inters will find them their first gun round and locks them at 10 for now. But that is a weak padlock where only one player is able to save no top mid smoke to for hobbit to sit behind and they are looking to progress on towards the same side they've been spotted out and it's nothing on the entry shiro answering back with the awp but they are here in force on the side of havu getting gunned down here on the rotations though no smokes really out here for gambit they went in dry and havu weren't expecting it he does have backup coming over. He peeks in. He peeks into that. <laughs> Gets the kill. Shiro's missed his shot. And you can see the pressure starting to escalate for Gambit. But Axel will step up when that pressure comes through. Shiro moving forward as well. Sees the foot of the CT. Waiting for the peak. Oh. Zori and Jemmy. Ariel's hands were the ones holding it. But Nafani is the one using it. To his advantage. X7 moves in. X7 moves past the Molotov as well. And Nafani, as low as he is, can't be too bold. And as he is oh. creeping into the smoke, he dodges the bullets and X7 will fall. It's back to a 2v3. But Jemmy and Slowy still alive. Slowy, now the only one here. And the bomb They're is running. going back over to the B bomb site. Nafani. The only way he gets his kill is with a missed shot. And as it is going to ring out, he will bait it forward. Knows there's a player likely on short. A grenade would finish off Nafani. Slowy, however, is hunting for Shiro and Nafani. 
but cut him off at the side. Fourth round secured for Gambit, but a half that is very much lost. And look, if not for a couple of missed shots over there, here and there, it could very well have been even a 14-1. Yeah. Uh, let's not make any mistake about it. This is, hell, this is, I, I dare I say, sort of best case scenario for Gambit after that half. And the way it seemed like it was going, but now Havu, the B-bomb side awaits, seemingly. Fallen flash pepped up by Nafani. And they will start to move in. Fully blind, but Ariel gets the kill regardless. Nafani, Ooh. however, Ooh. is blinking away, dinking them down, and it's just X7. Left the salvage around. He's good with the Glock, but he can't he get the frag. Doesn't look like it. Axel's got it in the bag. I've seen some pretty juicy ones over in the apartments. Jemmy's mm -hmm. predominantly been the one to throw them, but... Now, sure, like you said, offered up a few deals. He's having some trouble with his food, and Axel will come by and have him chew his mouthfuls, I suppose. Nice. Gambit now. Very good effectiveness when he was on that CT side. Less likely to be implemented here on the other end. Hobbit up close. Shiro all primed on the angle. The flash doesn't get him. So he's able to fire off and still see enough. They're up close again. But Shiro hits the crucial duel. Into what the four a on three. Find as well. And Shiro will now finally fall. Slow. He knows where the player is. We'll see him jumping oh. up. But Axel still gets the kill. Zori. The one man left. To try and save the day, but the day is long and his life is not Zori. Brought down by Inters. And as he holds a close angle, wait for the push to come forward. The duel goes the way of Axile and the pressure on Habu's shoulder is being mounted on. Shiro, what a shot onto X7. Brings him down at 22. Now will follow through, but can't get the frag oh. until the repeat. Shiro... Brings it back to a four on two, but Zori. Now the Inter is just not expected. And as the bomb is being planted, Inter will come in from the side. Move. Can't quite deny it. Oh. Ariel will get the kill. Suddenly it's all possible. It's Zori and a one on two. Zori's moved in from behind. He is going to have his position revealed entirely. Shiro. Flashbang will not matter. Secondary will not either. Zori just waiting for the peak to come oh. through. Will not get the shot, though. That was crucial. He had to find that one. And as the defuse is coming forward, Zori's pressured into Shiro's crosshair. If he'd found that one frag, that could have been everything. That could have been the round. Smoke comes out to block out the Molotov shore, but how useful is that going to be? Axel waiting in short will go down as he turns away and is flashed up entirely. Uh, Nafani, the only man to defend the bomb site, is unable to do so. Shiro. We'll have to move back and say Havu will get the 12th round and will get their first on the board. Gambit won't have the equalizer all that easily, but even then, man. He thought the AK to try and fight more effectively, but he didn't have his gun Ooh. out. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, flashbang as well. He's going for more. Okay. Doesn't save the AWP. Nice little practical joke. X7 sneaking oh. his way through window. Bell rung as well, but Nafani down. Man advantage, but Havu have a couple players surviving by a sliver. Molly is huge. Hobbit, however, who's nestled on the bricks, will be alive for a while longer. Gets the kill onto X7. It's re versus four. Gambit being closed in on Shiro's brought down. He's distracted and can't pull the trigger in time. Inters and Axel still forced off the bomb site. Can't be there, but Axel! Oh. 12 seconds what a too. Frag. He's going for more, but the bomb can be planted now that they've got the play kill on the CT player. Axel's revealed oh. position as well. The bomb is going to be planted, and Axel has to save. For a second, it looked possible, but. He put another door right behind it. <laughs> Would not be a surprise. That sounds like an old Looney Tunes. <laughs> holding the longer angle. Anti -flash, flash position here for Nafni, holding the lower tunnels as well. Run boost out, we'll spot both, and Zori, oh. one for one trade. Axile not going to get anything for his troubles after the trade frag, and so now it's into a three on four. Gambit. Actually, no, never mind, that's a lie. 12th of December, <laughs> but even then, mm. that's a long time to be undefeated. Hobbit, he turns oh. around. Gambit, they're about to give up game point. Shiro will try to defend, he's got a scout. We know he's good for it, but can he, in the face of overwhelming odds, in the face of certain death, 
Find the frag. frag. Seven's taken away. Inters as well. And Shero with 15 HP will instead turn around and. Yeah, that, that CT game plan from Havu. Just not adapted to early enough there from, from Gambit. And maybe not expecting Havu to, to make such drastic changes. Oh. Oh, he's not expected. Oh. He turns around at the wrong time. Shiro's got a kill in the meanwhile. He dropped the bomb. This could be massive. Molotov at his feet. Hobbit is forced outwards. Shiro still waiting with the scout, but slowly. What a shot from him. Back to a four on three. Havu. Grenades now moving forward. Axile to be bearing the brunt of them. Axile oh, on a single HP. point of HP. A smoke at his feet. Has to even dodge that. But X7 on the flank will find him and cut him down. Enters. Nafani. The last line of defense, the last hope, the last prayer to protect B. that 100%, but the B bomb site is not their friend. The B bomb site is still far away for the T side, though. Bomb is waiting. Oh Bomb is expecting this. Nafani. Nafani? Knife, Knife out. out. Knife out. Moving Ooh. in. Gets the headshot. Look Ooh. for more. Nafani might have just saved the day and given them a lifeline. They were lost since she and Nafani's built them a raft to float on, but he will still fall with 28 seconds. Leaves the baton to Inters, who's picked oh. in, and Havu will take it away. 16 to 10, the first loss that Gambit has had since December of last year. The Lambda players moving past him. A minute on the clock and so much map control already garnered. Hobbit is waiting for the push to come through. And as he's heard a player going into connected, this might be a false call, but rotations are being brought forward. Hobbit is able to pull oh. one, makes it to, and looks for more. Zori on the sideline is sidelined, and Hobbit is going for more. Jemmy will finally come through with a kill, but it's Slowy who's on the bomb side, who's on it already, oh, who's caught off the flanker, but Shiro will get the frag regardless. Jemmy. The only player left alive in a 1v3 does have the bomb, but nowhere to go, nowhere to plant. What can he even do? So much put onto that A site, and Hobbit just does what he needs to do. Three kills for him. Jemmy trying to get four. One upping the affair, but not clearing the barrel's angle. It'll be an easy kill for Nafini to actually steal away. Choosing to maintain a bit of pressure on A, actually. So mm. rotations will be quite delayed. 28 seconds left on the clock. There is no more utility on the CT side that can really delay them for too long. And a flashbang to pop out. Axel to come oh. through. Gets himself one. Looks for two, but tagged up and bagged up as well. Oh. Zero. No scope is unsuccessful. And Ariel will punish him with three quick kills. The CTs have fallen apart. Nafani and Inters dare not go for the retake. They have to say, they have to go. You know, he gets that no scope on the site. Maybe he's able to stay alive a little bit longer, divert some attention away from. But they're making progress over towards long. Nafani not going to recognize it early enough. Zori firing off the shot, not getting on the jump spot. Hobbit. Oh, the players are passing right below him. And oh, the timing is good. X7 unsuspecting. Hobbit. Has an exit path as well, but 25 seconds left. The tag comes in from the orb, and Nafani strikes. Axile as well has picked off another. So it's just Zori and Jemmy to recover. This bomb dropped out in the open, and the AWP has to be the one to get it. No chance. Havu are bailing out of this one if they can, but Zori's lost that AWP, and Jemmy in no man's land. They almost lined up for Zori as well over there. And Jemmy, the only thing he can try and go for is keeping the AK alive. But Axile knows where Jemmy is. Let's not forget Hobbit saw him oh. earlier on. So Jemmy has to save the gun. Will he be able to do so? Yes. All oh, the doors blown wide open as well. So if they try and make their way up short, they will be gunned down from the connector. Hobbit just waiting for the right time to strike. Shots being fired off by X7. The boost breaks down. Hobbit finally strikes. There's still another person in that connector, so this could be massive. Hobbit trying to smoke himself off. Slow, he only gets one so far. Nafani, however, who's still here, playing from short, waiting for Ariel to peek into him, will not be given any more blood. 50 seconds on the clock, and rotation is going back to a bomb side. Nafani, with the adjustment, quickly finds a vertical uptick and takes down Ariel. With that, Zori Another easy slowly. frag. Yeah, seems like they're just walking into the CT sightlines. Every single time. Oh, head Gambit. spotted out as well. Yeah. Gambit just making everything work. 
Yeah, let's not count our chickens too early. Shiro could get overwhelmed very quickly. A side progression. Flashes are good as well. No sight lines in here for Gambit, but no, neither are the pistols really finding anything. Napoli cutting them down. Easier frags to find. Finally brought to his knees, but Shiro is still alive with that orb and Axile, the unforeseen element. Could be quite interesting to dive into. Slow pro progress and that nade doing a lot of damage here for Harvey. They're trying to creep on out, see if they can contact in, but the flash has come in as well. And Hobbit's gone. Inter is still at the barrel, but unseen. One kill found. The second going to be labored, and they find trades effectively. Brought into equal numbers, a two on two. Flashbang goes out, keeps them at bay. This is the best chance. Oh, Harvey was out in a while, and that miss flashbang will be giving them even more options shiro though starting to aggress forward tech nine in hand moves in gets oh. the frag trade is there and sorry Ooh. the adjustment the third kill will find it and take it home but now we've been able to accomplish some good short water control and now they have connector as well so a lot of the benefits here for havu on this sea side bearing some fruit especially with the ct side of gambit sort of dialing it back more defensively Aerial and company inside the smoke enters. This could be huge for him. He's starting to move through. X7's got one aerial. As a second, back to a three on two. Shera has to step up. Oh, AWP has already. They peek into him and it will bring back the equalizer. Bomb has to start moving backwards. Short has been smoked off. But Zorian aerial, they have reconvened. They have gathered together and they are waiting. This is not going to be an easy rotation back onto the bomb sir, but it seems like he has been made aware of it and he is starting to move in. Molotov has been deployed. Bomb is being planted next to the pillar to keep it defended from B, but it should be one where Shiro can peek in and get it done. Axel, however, in the meanwhile, finds one. Zori, creeps boss, inside water, lies in wait. Shiro might not have realized and definitely didn't realize that the bomb was being planted for him. Zori's position is huge. So All Zori's the time. turning around, Zori! Oh. Well, well, no, he's been given a chance, but not one that can be capitalized on. Shiro still gets it done. Should they get a hint of what's coming? Maybe able to line this one up, the off angle here from Inters, and he's gonna be able to get the first secondary frag. Not gonna be easy, but Hobbit's gunned him down. That's the bomb dropped in Monster, and he's preventing them from progressing into it, making sure he can't get their hands on that bomb, and they have to separate. A three on two, and the smokes and the utility, they're fading. Ten seconds left. And it's all on Ariel to try and assist. Zori doing what he can, but the bomb will be planted. Shiro goes forward. Shiro's been brought down. Ariel can't adjust in time. Zori left in the oh. one on two. Can't get it done. But 30 seconds left will need to make a move fast. Or is it going to be too little too late? Axel, Napani both have a Molotov apiece as well. Axel deploys out the smoke. A Molly goes down. This could be it. That could be the difference maker. Flashback oh. as well. Napani will be blinded up by it. But Axel will fall. Napani will drop the bomb. 12 seconds on the clock. And they're starting to move through. Zori with the Molly. Jemmy needs to peek in. Jemmy oh. gets the kill. And that could be what gives them a chance. Jemmy's still watching. Zori's going for the bomb plant. Jemmy without HP will try to defend without losing his life. But in the flank comes out Hobbit with a CZ at the ready. He'll be well swinging sooner rather than later but jemmy is not expecting it the angle not being held jemmy will move past jemmy's in divider jemmy's oh. gone down sorry the only man left a 1v2 that he has faced so many times over this time we'll see the body of hobbit hobbit now knows where the man is sorry trying to reposition moving back to the back line looking for interest oh. get the kill but can't get the second hobbit with the kid at his feet will find the defuse ninth round Well, Execute's coming in now. Molotov smokes. Not going to be players right behind it here from Habu, though. They're still grouping up towards the bathroom, seeing if there's an aggressive push here from Gambit as there was no players behind the Execute. Axile will strike first. And there's no trade immediately. Zori there finally plugging that one up. And Slowey trying to make his way in towards the bomb site. And they move in. Habu is blind, but it is Shiro to find the frag. Goes for oh. more. Will connect with the last bullet and Hobbit. We'll have the last word. 10 to 3, Havu have had opportunities, have had chances, have had... I mean, you imagine we'll be redeemed in the secondary half, but it's just all about mitigating the damage. Up to 10 already, looking to make it 11. Hobbit starts it off nicely, and the Molotov will be enough for X7 to find a kill around it. Inters was low already. Hobbit taking up his mainstay and finding a Zori on the jump. This, this is a back and forth trade affair. X7 now left in the clutch. A one on three. The smoke separates them for the rest of the team, and he's been able to get another, and X7 coming alive. Three kills so far, down to a one on one. For the bomb to be planted. 
And as it has been done, X7 flashbang goes out, but Axile gets it done regardless. He gets three kills. Hell, I mean, even 11 is pushing it already. Yeah. Well, three is definitely point of no return territory. Hobbit flashback gone. Peace in kill will be traded. X7 to be the one to find the frag. Going for more inters oh. be traded again, but aerial so low. Nothing oh. with the spray. Cog transfer it successfully. Zorian Slowy will be moving forward, trying to regain control over CT. And as the bomb is blunted, Slowy can't find that frag. Smoke needed to go forward. Sheryl, what a monster this man is. How? How is he this good? He's 14 and 5 right now. We're probably going to have a barrage of statistics coming through about how many duels he's won against how many people. 15 seconds. It just isn't the time. They need to get the bomb planted soon. The CT is not in position to deny it from being done. And as the slowly peeks out, as the CTs move forward, bomb will be planted. Oh. Shiro will defend it long enough, but Axel now has to defend the bomb site. A two on three. Axel looking for one will equalize, but it's Napani oh. who drops the ball this time. X7 with three kills immediately on the CT side is. Exile. Waiting around the corner, in just good for one, in his back lines and off the back of his death. Axel, even in death, he's useful. How dare he? Yeah, the, the biggest thing for Gambit thus far on this D-side has just been coordination and... Inters may even may even go for a knife. I doubt he gets cleared in this position. And he knows Slowey's around the other corner. Never mind. Creeps on in. Slowey won't hit the flick. And Gambit have a separation of 10. God, not where you want to be in map 3 of the finals, is it? Not at all. Back out, moves oh. in, lines him up, gets a 4. Why not? Why the hell not? Even the ace? Yeah. It looked like his teammates were trying to steal it away from him, but no. And Hobbit on the side will oh, continue gone. the angle position of being in the perfect oh. position, but will not get his kill. Axel will also fall. Suddenly a four versus three, and the terrorist side are locked into long, where Shiro now will try to save the day with an AK. This time over peeks oh. in, but Zori's ready. I thought Zori was dead, 100% to the nade, but now he's found even more impact and he's constantly repositioning. Havu, look at how aggressive they're being when they have this man advantage. They just need to suffocate the options here for Gambit. Trapped in towards the bathrooms, there's nowhere else to go. Players are tagged down low, but sharp shooting here from Slowey. Just enters a one on four and 25 seconds left. That bomb separated from him. And well, he's been spotted out, so not gonna get it across the line. Gambit, however, moving in on towards that B bomb site. Enters, smoke off into the corner. Enters down at 15. Hobbit will fall. X7 will be traded, though. And with the Molotov still in water, Jemmy cannot assist his teammates, and he might be caught out by the player. And Toxic Shiro brings it back to a two on two. Smoke down. Ariel trying to make some noise. Spamming. Oh, just above the head of Shiro. They're coming in from both sides. Zori finding one, but Shiro, the high AP player, still alive. And he's got the AK, but Ariel's there for the trade. Almost makes that competitive, but Ariel... Axile is moving in. Axile moves past, but it's slowly to find the first kill. And he will be swinging up for more. Inters, however, is not falling yet. Inters gets two. Somehow... Will not fall. Ariel now has to step up. Can't keep the spray going Ten long seconds. enough for the M4A1. And the time is the only enemy that Gambit seemed to be having a hard time overcoming. A smoke will guide, disguise the bomb being planted. And oh. it will be a 1v1. Shiro left alone. X7 to contend oh. with. X7 will find the AWP, the kill, and the seventh round. Spinning around. X7, you can enjoy your moment. You deserve it. No assistance needed from his teammates as he's just getting information with the MP9. Now a secondary flashbang will give him another opportunity. But X7 has to step up again. Flashed up completely. They move back into oh. the pillar. But it's two oh, kills instantly. They've overwhelmed them. Not like oh, this. No. How? 
the worst possible round, the worst possible chance, the worst possible timing. And Gambit. They seem to have done it. They seem to have won this one out. How can Zori respond? Is there an opportunity? Doesn't look like it shows his position, reveals it, and as he moves through, oh it's Cheryl. My. Five players kept alive on a half by round. The dominance of Gambit is just inspiring.